Hey guys, what's up? Let's talk about this Elite Chapter event with Leo in the shop because there's some important stuff to touch on here. And I want to make sure that you go into this with all the information. If you were around, if you've been around long enough, you remember they did this with Emma. And so this is going to be a regular thing. This is going to be, event, be an event that comes around periodically. And the currency that you gain from the event carries over. You don't lose the currency when the event ends, which is why I have 45 here. I, I've done my, my five runs yesterday. And that's why I'm at 45. So the last time we had the event, it was Emma. I managed to get one copy of Emma. And then I didn't buy anything else with the meteorite crystals because someone told me that the currency carried over. And when the event rolled back around, I wanted to be able to get both copies of the champ. Okay. So. That's one thing to be aware of, is that your currency is going to carry over. And so you need to be very careful how you spend your money as it pertains to the things for the, that, that cost crystals. Because this event will come back around with another Triple S champ at some point, and you might screw yourself out of being able to buy two copies of it, okay? If you're going to want two copies of it. So that's what you're going to have to do is gauge the value of these items versus... The, the potential value of the Triple S champ that'll be in the next Elite Chapter event, okay? As far as the debris is concerned, if you're able to finish the entire event, you can buy every single thing down here. You can buy all 20 of the cards, all 100 of these, all eight of these. If this is like the last event, you're going to earn exactly enough debris to buy every single one of these items. So, as long as you can finish the event, that's gonna happen. If I remember correctly, the event does not actually take 13 days to complete. It lasts for 13 days, but I feel like I finished it several days early last time. So as long as you're doing it every day when it resets, you should finish this fairly early. Um, and I don't remember it being too insanely difficult. I was able to do it again. I was able to do it on my main account the first time the Emma event rolled around. So I don't remember how difficult it gets, but I don't recall having any trouble finishing it. So. Just gauge your own pro progress, right? As far as item priority down here, I mean, obviously the limited cards should be high on your list. Purple runes are pretty valuable. Everything down here is good. These, I wouldn't... Just one of those? Interesting. Uh, these are very valuable. Limited cards, purple runes, rubies. I'm not sure even why that's there. <laughs> Limited one of one, that's very strange. Maybe they needed to throw something in there to, to fix the balance or something so that you'd end up, if you bought everything, you'd end up with zero. But either way, it's all valuable. Just decide what you want. And again, if you could finish the event, you can buy it all anyway. Now back, back to these meteorite crystals. Obviously the champ is gonna be your top priority here in most cases. Beyond that, the most valuable thing on the list are the red runes technically now they're they're very expensive but they're there so you know if you, if you find yourself in a situation where you just went ham on on leo's banner and you've already got him to immortal well then you could consider buying some red runes uh, because they're very valuable but i don't think that's going to be most players situation so just know that red runes are very valuable and then again obviously limited cards are pretty valuable but but you have to be very careful because you have to gauge again the value of these items against the value of the next event because the less currency you leave yourself with the, the less of a good situation you leave yourself in for, for potentially getting two copies of the next champ so uh, beyond that pain rune is fantastic pain rune is very very good you will eventually get it from pterodome in my experience the drop rate for pain rune does seem lower but maybe it's just because that's the one I'm specifically looking for every time. So I, when I don't get it, I feel like it validates me thinking that it drops less. But I don't get a ton of copies of it and I'm trying to max one out. So I, I don't know that it's worth 33 of these given the situation, given how tight this currency is and given the fact that if you buy it, it's probably going to cost you not getting both Triple S heroes for the next event that rolls around. All right. So don't don't get it from here. You, you will eventually, from rewards, get, you know, the ticket where you can pick one of these and you can choose Pain Rune if you want it. And again, it will eventually drop from Terra for you if you're having trouble getting it from there. This, I would not be, I would not be tempted by. I think the only real tempting things here are the Red Runes and the Limited Cards. And again, you just have to gauge the value. I can't really make that decision for you. 
you feel like you want red runes more than you want both triple s champs next time then that's your decision but uh, just be aware this is this currency is going to carry over and if this is your first one if you weren't here for the emma event or you used all your currency in the emma event and you came to this one with zero just know if you if you finish every stage you're going to be able to get your one copy of the triple s champ and then the next time this event rolls around if you do every stage you're going to be able to get every every copy of the triple s okay so that's it i just wanted to talk a little bit about how the shop works what you need to be aware of going in you can get every single one of these if you finish be very careful about how you spend these decide how bad you want that triple s next next time now one more thing i want to talk about as it pertains to this event is you see i'm out of currency and when i click it says go to the shop and get more you can buy these tickets right understand that these tickets the only thing they're doing for you is letting you finish the event faster than everyone else you are not getting extra turns with these tickets you see that once you beat a stage it disappears and when you finish hill you finish there is no repeat stages the, the, the only thing those tickets are doing for you is getting you to the finish line quicker so if you want to get to your copies of leo quicker or whatever the case may be that's why you would want to buy these you are not getting anything extra <laughs> over anyone else though okay if you want extra stuff these are the packs with the meteorite crystals that you're going to want to focus on. They're not necessary. Okay, you, inle unless you used all your currency in the Emma event and you have zero and you really want to get that second copy of Leo without having to summon for it, then maybe you need to come in here and grab one of these, but, but really you don't need them. You're going to get plenty to get a copy of Leo, your second copy, your, your double copy of Leo, assuming you saved your currency from the Emma event. So again, this is just if you're whaling out and you want some extra stuff. Extra stuff will come from the crystal packs. Finishing it quicker is going to come from the challenge ticket packs. So, and there's no reason, you, you, there's no bonus to finishing the event faster other than that you just get the items quicker, okay? So I, if you're feeling like you're going to get extra shit for these and you're feeling tempted, I, I wouldn't really bother, honestly. They're going to give you plenty of time to finish the event. You'll get there eventually anyway so i don't think that you need to bother with any of that and i think that's pretty much everything i wanted to talk about with the event as far as difficulty i don't like i said i don't remember it being too hard uh, if, if there's any stages that i that i feel like i noticed that feel tough as i'm going through maybe we'll make a video specifically talking about them but I, again i don't remember or, or if you're struggling if you find yourself stuck somewhere Maybe hop in my Discord, there's a link below for that, and just get with someone in the community. Some, someone will be around to try to help you solve a problem of a stage, but again, I can't remember being hung up anywhere in here, so. But that's it. I just, again, wanted to talk a little bit about the structure of the event, the rewards in the event, let you be aware about how the currency, aware of how the currency works here, and then again, be aware of these challenge ticket, and that you don't really need to buy those packs unless you just feel like rushing your way through the event, so. Uh, that's it hopefully you got something out of this if you have any other tips that you want to drop below about you know meteorite crystal management and stuff feel free i'm always i'm always up for that and i'm getting out of here so i appreciate you guys hope you have a good one